street art is it's a subculture from graffiti art. And I mean, it, it's existed forever. I mean, really what we know of street art is the rebellious side of it, like the Banksy side where it's all public and uncommissioned and everything. But street art as a whole consists of public art projects that are commissioned by various artists that aren't street artists. Um, for instance, like the guy that does chalk paintings on, on the ground, uh, Robert Edgar Mueller. Um, but for me, street art is something like more rebellious and more useful. Um, it's basically urban expression and guerrilla marketing. Just putting, putting a message or a name or an image out there to kind of work people's minds and see how they're inspired or uninspired by it. I started doing graffiti when I was about 14 and I lived in Atlanta. Um, I just met a couple guys out there after I got kicked out of school on my way home on the bus and I was drawing. I, I used to get paid from my classmates to like draw their names for them. That was kind of like my first tagging experience. And so a couple guys saw me drawing someone's name in my book on the bus and they said, well, you should, you should just come with us. He says, you can go home, you know, you're not gonna have fun or anything. You're already in trouble all that. You might as well just come on. And, uh, finally, I was like, cool. And they took me to the train yards out there. And it turns out like they were a sick crew and they just sat there and painted and I just kind of sat back watched them bomb trains and looked out for them for a while. And so we would go out every once in a while and eventually I started like helping with fill-ins and doing outlines and stuff like that. And then I kind of started writing my own name every once in a while. I didn't really get into street art until probably like around 2009. I'm more of an advocate these days than a graffiti writer. Pie Top Gallery officially opened on June 7th this year, which is 2013. Um, it's been a studio space since last November, and we've had an idea to have a studio slash gallery slash boutique for a while, but we've slowly developed it and we've accumulated new members and curated multiple artists. I like a lot of art for different things. And so I'll say probably Salvador Dali is probably my favorite. I don't like graffiti abatement because they won't they won't separate things like gang graffiti from like graffiti art, from street art, from public art. Like they call it it's all the same to them. They just recently made like a very renowned street artist paint over a mural that they were commissioned to do by the owner because they didn't have a permit. And the task force was really like rude to the person and everything. So like, I don't, I don't like a graffiti abatement because they kind of treat the street art cats like gang members and stuff. And I don't think that's very, very reflective of our culture. And I think for me, like, I'm a better catalyst of artists to like bring different artists and different styles of art together and advocate for them. So I would definitely like to be successful as an artist before I'm dead. Well, especially out here, like the street art scene is so secret and like low key and the laws are so strict that it's hard to like get really good artists or really prolific artists talk about what they do or like get them on camera or anything because even in, in within the graffiti community there's a lot of artists that will like snitch on each other and so there should be more media about it but the media needs to be done more tastefully so that it isn't exploiting the arts. I don't want street art to become like a Disney, like a Disney production.